So what would it look like if black women's perspectives were at the heart of social and technology-oriented problem-solving strategies? I am pro-woman and I am pro-geek. And I believe that girl geeks have the power to change the world. <laughs> and my idea of womanist technology is going to show us how. Now, womanist technology is about womanizing technology. Because at the center of who we are as women needs to be a part of solutions. It needs to be a part of what we can bring to the workforce. And when women and girls are well, communities are stronger. When women and girls are empowered, communities are stronger. So who are we talking about? We're talking about 52% of the world's population is female. We represent over half of the workforce, but yet we only hold about a quarter of computing and technical related jobs. So let's talk a bit about womanism. I came to womanism as a grad student looking for meaning in my world, and I found it here. Now, womanism is rooted in everyday experiences of black women and women of color problem solving in everyday spaces. Womanism is against all forms of oppression, against all people. And womanism seeks to restore the harmony and the balance that class, race, and gender oppression disrupts. Now, what's equally important about womanism is that it functions through dialogue. It's people like us sitting around a kitchen table, sharing stories, sharing problem-solving strategies, sharing what works. Now, womanism and technology can work together in really beautiful ways. First, there are already organizations that are out there doing this, okay? There's uh, organizations called Blurtology, Hack Bride Academy, Girl Coded. There are even these girl geek dinners that Sarah Lamb started in London because she wanted to combat the isolation that she felt when she was attending technology-oriented events, being the only woman there. Now, there are 64 Girl Geek chapter dinners in 23 countries. Additionally, Kimberly Bryant, who founded Black Girls Code, wanted to create spaces for girls of color to learn the language of coding. So she is training the next generation of coders who will certainly be creating products for their communities to consume. So woman is technology, is technology just reimagined, refocused. Womanist technology is focused on the emotional and the physical wellness of girls so that they can empower themselves and empower their communities. Now, there are about one million mobile applications out on various platforms right now, and I am a storyteller. I'm a consumer of technology, tons of apps on my phones, and I never thought that I'd be able to actually create them. Um, but as mentioned, I wrote my first storybook app called A Song for Miles. It nurtures the father-son relationship, but it also teaches character education through soul music. My second app, Dream Olivia Dream, focuses on the relationship between a mother and a daughter, where mom shares some wisdom that she's learned over the years, and they do that through the art of Elizabeth Catlett. So here are some images of the storybook app. And I'll tell you the story of how it came to be and also tell you the story of how woman is technology, the idea was born. On a rainy day, mother and daughter take a trip to the art gallery. And immediately, Olivia sees the Negro woman sharecropper image and is immediately drawn to it. There's something about the, the, the lines in the face that move this little girl to point it out and want to know more. So mom is excited. She's going to begin sharing her stories around bravery and wisdom. You know, she wants her little girl to remain a little girl as long as she can because society wants little girls to grow up just too fast. Okay? So they're sharing all these beautiful personal stories. Now, I had an opportunity to pilot and to show some beginning slides to a group of fifth grade girls. When I showed this slide to them, they said they saw bravery, they said they saw anger, and, and all these feelings are good. So we moved on to the next one, because after all these stories, Olivia in the app begins to imagine all she wants for her world. She begins to imagine all the things that she can be. 
Now, when the little girls over mozzarella sticks saw this slide in their little classroom, the room lit up. They saw themselves through Olivia's eyes. I said, well, what do you see here? Tell me what you see here. And one little girl said, well, I see that Olivia can do whatever she wants to do. And, and I wanted to hear that. I also wanted to hear other things. And I said, so what else do you hear? And another little girl said, well, Olivia can do more than one thing. And I was like, wow. So as a mother, as a scholar, as an educator, as a womanist, that really made me happy because women can do more than one thing. Women can bring these talents to the technology field. So that was very interesting. So I continue with the story because when Olivia goes home, she wants to paint the world that she has envisioned for herself and for her community. Now, I have to say that I later learned that one of the girls who spoke in that little session, I learned from the guidance counselor that she was, quote unquote, unteachable, that she was a little girl who never, ever spoke in school. But yet these slides, this app, this piece of womanist technology brought that out. What a healing mechanism women of technology can do. So that's not the only thing that women of technology can do. Here's an example of women of technology at work in Cambodia. There's an innovative Oxfam project that's equipping women with cell phones, and they're pink, they're the pink phone project. <laughs> so these women are taught how to send text messages. They're, they're, they use that technology to check crop prices to ensure that they're getting the best price for their crops. They can also use this technology to intervene in cases of domestic violence and also to aid their fellow sisters in cases of childbirth. So when a commune uh, woman was asked, why are these phones pink? She simply stated, well, they're pink because we know that if a man has it, he's taken it from his woman. <laughs> so these pink phones then become a marker of feminine property. They become a marker of feminine empowerment. So when a little girl in that commune sees her aunt or her mother or her sister using this technology, she then sees herself as empowered as well. Now, what womanist technology does, and what it doesn't do, I should say, it does not dislodge anyone who's currently in the field. It doesn't remove them, it doesn't remove men, it certainly doesn't remove the women that are already in technology doing really great things and problem solving and creating solutions. But what it does do, it creates space for other girls, other women to coexist. It creates space for men who are thinking in womanist ways to be a part of solutions. Now, Courtney Martin, uh, a feminist blogger, in her TED Talk said that she wants to be a harmonizing force in the world. And I think my womanism allows me to be that harmonizing force because I, as an everyday black woman educator, can make space for all the nurturers, the guidance counselors, the, the laborers to be in the technology realm with me. I never thought that I'd be there. In fact, I thought that technology was too insular, too male dominated, too complicated. If you can picture a man sitting in a dark basement with a minimum of four computer screens, that's, that was a vision that I had in my mind about what technology looked like. And I couldn't see myself within that. But I found a place, and womanist technology allowed me to do that. Womanist technology makes us reimagine and encourage us to redefine what ordinary redefine what every day looks like, and certainly redefine what mundane looks like. It allows us to be womanist. Womanism and womanist technology are unfinished because womanism functions through dialogue. It changes, it evolves, it moves, it embraces all the people that come to this space. So because womanism is unfinished, there's still room to grow, and there's so much beauty in the unfinished places. Thank you.